Euler-Bernoulli beam theory, also known as engineer's beam theory or classical beam theory, is a simplification of the linear theory of elasticity which provides a means of calculating the load carrying and deflection characteristics of beams. It covers the case for small deflections of a beam that are subjected to lateral loads only. It is thus a special case of Timoshenko beam theory. It was first enunciated circa 1750, but was not applied on a large scale until the development of the Eiffel Tower and the Ferris wheel in the late 19th century. Following these successful demonstrations, it quickly became a cornerstone of engineering and an enabler of the Second Industrial Revolution. Additional analysis tools have been developed such as plate theory and finite element analysis, but the simplicity of beam theory makes it an important tool in the sciences, especially structural and mechanical engineering. History Prevailing consensus is that Galileo Galilei made the first attempts at developing a theory of beams, but recent studies argue that Leonardo da Vinci was the first to make the crucial observations. Da Vinci lacked Hooke's law and calculus to complete the theory, whereas Galileo was held back by an incorrect assumption he made. The Bernoulli beam is named after Jacob Bernoulli, who made the significant discoveries. Leonard Euler and Daniel Bernoulli were the first to put together a useful theory circa 1750. At the time, science and engineering were generally seen as very distinct fields, and there was considerable doubt that a mathematical product of academia could be trusted for practical safety applications. Bridges and buildings continued to be designed by precedent until the late 19th century, when the Eiffel Tower and Ferris wheel demonstrated the validity of the theory on large scales. topic static beam equation the euler bernoulli equation describes the relationship between the beam's deflection and the applied load d 2 d x 2 e i d 2 w d x 2 equals q display style frac mathrm d caret 2 mathrm d x caret 2 left e i frac mathrm d caret 2 w mathrm d x caret 2 right equals q the curve w x display style w x describes the deflection of the beam in the z display style z direction at some position x display style x recall that the beam is modeled as a one dimensional object q display style q is a distributed load in other words a force per unit length analogous to pressure being a force per area it may be a function of x display style x w display style w or other variables. Note that E display style E is the elastic modulus, and that I display style I is the second moment of area of the beam's cross section. I display style I must be calculated with respect to the axis which passes through the centroid of the cross section and which is perpendicular to the applied loading. Explicitly, for a beam whose axis is oriented along x with a loading along z, the beam's cross section is in the yz plane, and the relevant second moment of area is i equals z 2 d y d z display style i equals i i n t z caret 2 d y d z where it is assumed that the centroid of the cross section occurs at y. Topic <laughs> z zero. Often, the product E i, known as the flexural rigidity, is a constant, so that E i d four w 
d x 4 equals q x display style ei frac mathrm d caret 4 w mathrm d x caret 4 equals q x this equation describing the deflection of a uniform static beam is used widely in engineering practice tabulated expressions for the deflection w display style w for common beam configurations can be found in engineering handbooks for more complicated situations the deflection can be determined by solving the Euler Bernoulli equation using techniques such as the slope deflection method moment distribution method moment area method conjugate beam method quote comma quote the principle of virtual work quote comma quote direct integration quote comma quote castellanos method quote comma quote Macaulay's method, or the direct stiffness method. Sign conventions are defined here since different conventions can be found in the literature. In this article, a right handed coordinate system is used as shown in the figure, bending of an Euler Bernoulli beam. In this figure, the x and z direction of a right handed coordinate system are shown. Since E z times E x equals e y display style math bf e underscore z times math bf e underscore x equals math bf e underscore y where e x display style math bf e underscore x e y display style math bf e underscore y and e z display style math bf e underscore z are unit vectors in the direction of the x, y, and z axes respectively. The y axis direction is into the figure. Forces acting in the positive x display style x and z display style z directions are assumed positive. The sign of the bending moment m display style m is positive when the torque vector associated with the bending moment on the right-hand side of the section is in the positive y direction, i.e., so that a positive value of m display style m leads to a compressive stress at the bottom fibers. With this choice of bending moment sign convention, in order to have d m equals q d x display style dm equals q dx it is necessary that q display style q the shear force acting on the right side of the section be positive in the z direction so as to achieve static equilibrium of moments to have force equilibrium with d q equals Q D X display style DQ equals Q DX Q the loading intensity must be positive in the minus Z direction in addition to these sign conventions for scalar quantities we also sometimes use vectors in which the directions of the vectors is made clear through the use of the unit vectors e X display style math BF e underscore X E Y Display style Math BF E underscore Y and E Z Display style Math BF E underscore Z Successive derivatives of the deflection W have important physical meanings. DW DX is the slope of the beam M equals minus E I D two W D X two Display style M equals E I frac D carrot two W DX carrot two is the bending moment in the beam and Q equals minus D D 
x e i d 2 w d x 2 display style q equals frac d dx left e i frac d caret 2 w dx caret 2 right is the shear force in the beam the stresses in a beam can be calculated from the above expressions after the deflection due to a given load has been determined topic <laughs> derivation of bending moment equation Because of the fundamental importance of the bending moment equation in engineering, we will provide a short derivation. The length of the neutral axis in the figure is rho d theta. Display style rho d theta. The length of a fiber with a radial distance e. Display style e. Below the neutral axis is rho plus E D theta display style row plus E D theta. Therefore, the strain of this fiber is row plus E minus row D theta row D theta equals E row display style frac left row plus e row right d theta row d theta equals frac e row the stress of this fiber is e e row display style e t f r a c e row where e is the elastic modulus in accordance with hooke's law the differential force vector d f Display style d math bff resulting from this stress is given by d f equals e e rho d a e x display style d math bff equals e frac e rho da math bff e underscore x this is the differential force vector exerted on the right-hand side of the section shown in the figure. We know that it is in the e x display style math bf e underscore x direction. Since the figure clearly shows that the fibers in the lower half are in tension, d a display style da is the differential element of area at the location of the fiber. The differential bending moment vector d m display style d math bf m associated with d f display style d math bf f is given by d m equals minus e e z times D F equals minus E Y E E two row D A display style D math BF M equals E math BF E underscore Z times D math BF F equals math BF E underscore Y E frac E carrot two row da this expression is valid for the fibers in the lower half of the beam. The expression for the fibers in the upper half of the beam will be similar except that the moment arm vector will be in the positive z direction and the force vector will be in the x direction since the upper fibers are in compression. But the resulting bending moment vector will still be in the y direction since e z times minus e x equals minus e y display style math bf e underscore z times math bf e underscore x equals math bf e underscore y therefore we integrate over the entire cross section of the beam and get for 
m display style math bf m the bending moment vector exerted on the right cross section of the beam the expression m equals d m equals minus e y e rho e 2 d a equals minus e y e i rho Display style Math BF M equals in D Math BF M equals Math BF E underscore Y frac E row int E carrot two dar equals Math BF E underscore Y frac E I row where I Display style I is the second moment of area. From calculus, we know that when D W D X Display style tfrac dw dx is small as it is for an Euler Bernoulli beam. One rho equals d two w d x two. Display style tfrac one rho equals tfrac d carrot two w dx carrot two row display style row is the radius of curvature therefore m equals minus e y e i d 2 w d x 2 Display style Math BF M equals Math BF E underscore Y E I D carrot two W over DX carrot two. Topic Dynamic beam equation. The dynamic beam equation is the Euler Lagrange equation for the following action S equals T one T two zero L one two mu W T two minus one two E I two W X two two plus Q X W X T D X D T Display style S equals int underscore T underscore one carrot T underscore two int underscore zero carrot L left frac one two mu left frac partial W partial T right carrot two frac one two EI left frac partial carrot two W partial X carrot two right carrot two plus Q X W X T right DX DT The first term represents the kinetic energy where mu Display style mu is the mass per unit length. The second one represents the potential energy due to internal forces when considered with a negative sign, and the third term represents the potential energy due to the external load. Q x display style Q x. The Euler-Lagrange equation is used to determine the function that minimizes the functional s display style s. For a dynamic Euler-Bernoulli beam, the Euler-Lagrange equation is 2 x 2 e i 2 w x 2 equals minus mu 2 w t 2 plus Q x 
Display style CFRAC partial carrot two partial x carrot two left EI CFRAC partial carrot two W partial x carrot two right equals mu CFRAC partial carrot two W partial T carrot two plus Q x. When the beam is homogeneous E display style E and I display style I are independent of x display style x and the beam equation is simpler e i 4 w x 4 equals minus mu 2 w t 2 plus q Display style e i c f r a c partial carrot four w partial x carrot four equals mu c f r a c partial carrot two w partial t carrot two plus q. Topic: Free vibration. In the absence of a transverse load, q. Display style q. We have the free vibration equation. This equation can be solved using a Fourier decomposition of the displacement into the sum of harmonic vibrations of the form W x t equals re W carrot x e minus i omega t Display style W x T equals text re hat W x tilde E carrot I omega T where Omega Display style Omega is the frequency of vibration. Then, for each value of frequency, we can solve an ordinary differential equation E I D four W carrot D x four plus mu omega two W carrot equals zero. Display style i tilde c f r a c mathrm d carrot four hat w mathrm d x carrot four plus mu omega carrot two hat w equals zero. The general solution of the above equation is W carrot equals a one cosh beta x plus a two shine beta x plus a three cos beta x plus a 4 sin beta x with beta equals mu omega 2 e i 1 4 Display style hat W equals A underscore one cosh beta x plus A underscore two shine beta x plus A underscore three cos beta x plus A underscore four sin beta x quad text with quad beta equals left frac mu omega carrot two E I right carrot one quarter where a one a two a three Four display style a underscore one or underscore two or underscore three or underscore four a constants. These constants are unique for a given set of boundary conditions. However, the solution for the displacement is not unique and depends on the frequency. These solutions are typically written as W carrot n equals one cosh beta n 
x plus a two shine beta n x plus a three cos beta n x plus a four sin beta n x with beta n equals mu omega n 2 e i 1 4 Display style hat W underscore N equals A underscore one cosh beta underscore N x plus A underscore two shine beta underscore N x plus A underscore three cos beta underscore N x plus A underscore four sin beta underscore N x quad text with quad beta underscore N equals left frac mu omega underscore N carrot two E I right carrot one quarter. The quantities Omega n display style omega underscore n are called the natural frequencies of the beam. Each of the displacement solutions is called a mode, and the shape of the displacement curve is called the mode shape. Topic example: cantilevered beam. The boundary conditions for a cantilevered beam of length. L display style L fixed at x equals 0 display style x equals 0 a w caret n equals 0 d w caret n d x equals zero at x equals zero D two W carrot N DX two equals zero D three W carrot N DX three equals zero at x equals L display style begin aligned and hat W underscore N equals zero tilde 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 frac D hat W underscore N DX equals zero quad text at tilde tilde x equals zero and frac D carrot two hat W underscore N DX carrot two equals zero tilde 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 frac D carrot three hat W underscore N DX Carrot three equals zero quad text at tilde tilde x equals L end aligned. If we apply these conditions, non-trivial solutions are found to exist only if cosh beta n l cos beta n l plus one equals zero. Display style cosh beta underscore n l cos beta underscore n l plus one equals zero. This nonlinear equation can be solved numerically. The first few roots are beta one l pi. Topic zero point five nine six eight six Beta two L Pi one point four nine four one eight Beta three L Pi Topic two point five oh oh two five Beta four L Pi Three point four nine 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 nine. The corresponding natural frequencies of vibration are Omega one equals Beta one two E I mu equals three point five one six one L two E I Mu display style omega underscore one equals beta underscore one carrot two sqrt frac e i mu equals frac three five thousand one hundred and sixty one l carrot two sqrt frac e i mu tilde 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 dots. 
The boundary conditions can also be used to determine the mode shapes from the solution for the displacement. W caret n equals a one cosh beta n x minus cos beta n x plus cos beta n l plus cosh beta n l sin beta n l plus shine beta n l sin beta n x minus shine beta n x Display style hat W underscore N equals A underscore one BIGL cosh beta underscore N x cos beta underscore N x plus frac cos beta underscore N L plus cosh beta underscore N L sin beta underscore N L plus shine beta underscore N L sin beta underscore N x shine beta underscore N x big R The unknown constant actually constants as there is one for each N Display style n a one display style a underscore one, which in general is complex, is determined by the initial conditions at t equals zero display style t equals zero on the velocity and displacements of the beam. Typically, a value of a one equals one display style a underscore one equals one is used when plotting mode shapes. Solutions to the undampened force problem have unbounded displacements when the driving frequency matches a natural frequency. Omega n display style omega underscore n, i.e., the beam can resonate. The natural frequencies of a beam therefore correspond to the frequencies at which resonance can occur. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Example unsupported free free beam. A free free beam is a beam without any supports. The boundary conditions for a free beam of length l extending from x equals 0 to x equals l is given by d Two W carrot N D X two equals zero D three W carrot N D X three equals zero at X equals zero and L Display style frac D carrot two hat W underscore N DX carrot two equals zero tilde 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 frac D carrot three hat W underscore N DX carrot three equals zero quad text at tilde tilde X equals zero text and L If we apply these conditions, non trivial solutions are found to exist only if Cosh beta N L cos beta N L minus one equals zero Display style cosh beta underscore N L cos beta underscore N L minus one equals zero. This nonlinear equation can be solved numerically. The first few roots are beta one L pi. Topic one point five oh five six two beta two L pi two point four nine nine seven five beta three L pi 
Topic 3.50001 Beta 4L Pi 4.50000 The corresponding natural frequencies of vibration are omega 1 equals beta 1 2 e i mu equals 22.3733 l 2 e i mu display style omega underscore 1 equals beta underscore 1 carrot 2 sqrt frac e i mu equals frac 22 Three thousand seven hundred and thirty three L carrot two SQRT frac EI mu tilde 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 dots. The boundary conditions can also be used to determine the mode shapes from the solution for the displacement W carrot N equals a one sin beta N X plus Shine beta n x minus sin beta n l minus shine beta n l cos beta n l minus cos beta n l cos beta n x plus cosh beta n x Display style hat W underscore N equals A underscore one B I G L sin beta underscore N X plus shine beta underscore N X frac sin beta underscore N L shine beta underscore N L cos beta underscore N L cosh beta underscore N L cos beta underscore N X plus cosh beta underscore N X big R As with the cantilevered beam, the unknown constants are determined by the initial conditions at T equals zero. Display style T equals zero on the velocity and displacements of the beam. Also, solutions to the undampened force problem have unbounded displacements when the driving frequency matches a natural frequency. Omega n. Display style omega underscore n. topic stress besides deflection the beam equation describes forces and moments and can thus be used to describe stresses for this reason the euler bernoulli beam equation is widely used in engineering especially civil and mechanical to determine the strength as well as deflection of beams under bending both the bending moment and the shear force cause stresses in the beam the stress due to shear force is maximum along the neutral axis of the beam when the width of the beam, t, is constant along the cross-section of the beam, otherwise an integral involving the first moment and the beam's width needs to be evaluated for the particular cross-section, and the maximum tensile stress is at either the top or bottom surfaces. Thus the maximum principal stress in the beam may be neither at the surface nor at the center but in some general area. However, shear force stresses are negligible in comparison to bending moment stresses in all but the stockiest of beams as well as the fact that stress concentrations commonly occur at surfaces, meaning that the maximum stress in a beam is likely to be at the surface. <laughs> Simple or symmetrical bending For beam cross sections that are symmetrical about a plane perpendicular to the neutral plane, it can be shown that the tensile stress experienced by the beam may be expressed as sigma equals m z i equals minus z e d two w d 
x 2 display style sigma equals frac mz i equals z tilde frac mathrm d caret 2 w mathrm d x caret 2 here z display style z is the distance from the neutral axis to a point of interest and m display style m is the bending moment Note that this equation implies that pure bending of positive sign will cause zero stress at the neutral axis, positive tensile stress at the top of the beam, and negative compressive stress at the bottom of the beam, and also implies that the maximum stress will be at the top surface and the minimum at the bottom. This bending stress may be superimposed with axially applied stresses, which will cause a shift in the neutral zero stress axis. topic maximum stresses at a cross section the maximum tensile stress at a cross section is at the location z equals c 1 display style z equals c underscore 1 and the maximum compressive stress is at the location z equals minus C two display style z equals c underscore two, where the height of the cross section is h equals c one plus c two display style h equals c underscore one plus c underscore two. These stresses are sigma one equals m c 1 i equals m s 1 sigma 2 equals minus m c 2 i equals minus M S two Display style Sigma underscore one equals C F R A C M C underscore one I equals C F R A C M S underscore one tilde 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 Sigma underscore two equals C F R A C M C underscore two I equals C F R A C M S underscore two The quantities S one S Two display style s underscore one s underscore two are the section moduli and are defined as s one equals i c one s two equals i c two Display style s underscore one equals c f r a c i c underscore one tilde 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 s underscore two equals c f r a c i c underscore two. The section modulus combines all the important geometric information about a beam section into one quantity. For the case where a beam is doubly symmetric, c one equals c two. Display style c underscore one equals c underscore two, and we have one section modulus s equals i c. Display style s equals i c. Topic: Strain in an Euler Bernoulli beam. We need an expression for the strain in terms of the deflection of the neutral surface to relate the stresses in an Euler-Bernoulli beam to the deflection. To obtain that expression we use the assumption that normals to the neutral surface remain normal during the deformation and that deflections are small. These assumptions imply that the beam bends into an arc of a circle of radius ρ See figure 1 and that the neutral surface does not change in length during the deformation let d x 
display style mathrm dx be the length of an element of the neutral surface in the undeformed state for small deflections the element does not change its length after bending but deforms into an arc of a circle of radius rho display style rho if d theta display style mathrm d theta is the angle subtended by this arc then d x equals rho d theta display style mathrm d x equals rho tilde mathrm d theta let us now consider another segment of the element at a distance z display style z above the neutral surface the initial length of this element is d x display style mathrm dx however after bending the length of the element becomes d x equals rho minus z d theta equals d x minus z d theta Display style mathrm d x equals rho z tilde mathrm d theta equals mathrm d x z tilde mathrm d theta. The strain in that segment of the beam is given by epsilon x equals d x minus d x d x equals minus z rho equals minus kappa z display style var epsilon underscore x equals cfrac mathrm dx mathrm dx mathrm dx equals cfrac z rho equals kappa tilde z where kappa display style kappa is the curvature of the beam. This gives us the axial strain in the beam as a function of distance from the neutral surface. However, we still need to find a relation between the radius of curvature and the beam deflection. W display style W. Topic: Relation between curvature and beam deflection. Let P be a point on the neutral surface of the beam at a distance x display style x from the origin of the x z display style x z coordinate system the slope of the beam is approximately equal to the angle made by the neutral surface with the x display style x axis for the small angles encountered in beam theory Therefore, with this approximation, theta x equals d w d x display style theta x equals c f r a c mathrm d w mathrm d x. Therefore, for an infinitesimal element d x display style mathrm d x the relation d x equals rho d theta display style mathrm d x equals rho tilde mathrm d theta can be written as 1 rho equals d theta d x equals d 2 w d x 2 equals kappa display style cfrac 1 row equals cfrac mathrm d theta mathrm d x equals cfrac mathrm d caret 2 w mathrm d x caret 2 equals kappa 
hence the strain in the beam may be expressed as epsilon x equals minus z kappa display style var epsilon underscore x equals z kappa topic stress strain relations For a homogeneous isotropic linear elastic material, the stress is related to the strain by sigma equals e epsilon display style sigma equals e var epsilon, where e display style e is the Young's modulus. Hence, the stress in an Euler Bernoulli beam is given by sigma x equals minus Z E D two W D X two Display style sigma underscore x equals Z C F R A C Mathram D carrot two W Mathram D X carrot two Note that the above relation, when compared with the relation between the axial stress and the bending moment, leads to m equals minus e i d two w d x two display style m equals e i c f r a c mathrm d caret two w mathrm d x caret two since the shear force is given by q equals d m d x display style q equals mathrm d m mathrm d x we also have q equals minus e i d 3 W D X three Display style Q equals E I C F R A C Mathram D carrot three W Mathram D X carrot three Topic Boundary considerations The beam equation contains a fourth order derivative in X Display style x to find a unique solution w x t display style w x t we need four boundary conditions the boundary conditions usually model supports but they can also model point loads distributed loads and moments the support or displacement boundary conditions are used to fix values of displacement w display style w and rotations d w d x display style mathrm d with mathrm d x on the boundary such boundary conditions are also called dirichlet boundary conditions load and moment boundary conditions involve higher derivatives of w display style w and represent momentum flux. Flux boundary conditions are also called Newman boundary conditions. As an example consider a cantilever beam that is built in at one end and free at the other as shown in the adjacent figure. At the built in end of the beam there cannot be any displacement or rotation of the beam. This means that at the left end both deflection and slope are zero. Since no external bending moment is applied at the free end of the beam, the bending moment at that location is zero. In addition, if there is no external force applied to the beam, the shear force at the free end is also zero. Taking the x display style x coordinate of the left end as zero display style zero and the right end as l display style l the length of the beam these statements translate to the following set of boundary conditions assume e i display style e i is a constant 
W X equals zero equals zero W X X equals zero equals zero fixed end Display style W underscore x equals zero equals zero quad quad frac partial W partial x big underscore x equals zero equals zero q quad m box fixed end two W x two x equals L equals zero three W x 3 x equals l equals 0 free end display style frac partial caret 2 w partial x caret 2 big underscore x equals l equals 0 quad quad frac partial caret 3 w partial x caret 3 big underscore x equals l equals 0 q quad m box free end a simple support pin or roller is equivalent to a point force on the beam which is adjusted in such a way as to fix the position of the beam at that point. A fixed support or clamp, is equivalent to the combination of a point force and a point torque which is adjusted in such a way as to fix both the position and slope of the beam at that point. Point forces and torques, whether from supports or directly applied, will divide a beam into a set of segments, between which the beam equation will yield a continuous solution, given four boundary conditions, two at each end of the segment. Assuming that the product EI is a constant, and defining lambda equals F E I display style lambda equals F E I where f is the magnitude of a point force and tau equals m e i display style tau equals m e i where m is the magnitude of a point torque the boundary conditions appropriate for some common cases is given in the table below the change in a particular derivative of w across the boundary as x increases is denoted by delta display style delta followed by that derivative for example delta w equals w x plus minus w x minus display style delta w equals w x plus w x where w x plus display style w x plus is the value of w display style w at the lower boundary of the upper segment while w x minus display style w x is the value of w display style w at the upper boundary of the lower segment. When the values of the particular derivative are not only continuous across the boundary, but fixed as well, the boundary condition is written e.g. delta w equals 0 display style delta w equals 0 caret asterisk which actually constitutes two separate equations e.g. w x minus equals w x plus display style w x equals w x plus equals fixed note that in the first cases in which the point forces and torques are located between two segments there are four boundary conditions two for the lower segment and two for the upper when forces and torques are applied to one end of the beam, there are two boundary conditions given which apply at that end. The sign of the point forces and torques at an end will be positive for the lower end, negative for the upper end. <laughs> <laughs> Loading considerations 
Applied loads may be represented either through boundary conditions or through the function Q X T display style Q X T which represents an external distributed load using distributed loading is often favorable for simplicity boundary conditions are however often used to model loads depending on context this practice being especially common in vibration analysis by nature, the distributed load is very often represented in a piecewise manner, since in practice a load isn't typically a continuous function. Point loads can be modeled with help of the Dirac delta function. For example, consider a static uniform cantilever beam of length L with an upward point load F applied at the free end. Using boundary conditions, this may be modeled in two ways. In the first approach, the applied point load is approximated by a shear force applied at the free end. In that case the governing equation and boundary conditions are E I D 4 W D X 4 equals 0 W X equals zero equals zero D W D X X equals zero equals zero D two W D X two X equals L equals zero minus E I D three W D X three X equals L equals F display style begin aligned and EI frac mathram D carrot 4 W mathram D X carrot 4 equals 0 and W underscore X equals 0 equals 0 quad quad frac mathram D W mathram D X big underscore X equals 0 equals 0 quad quad frac mathram D carrot 2 W mathram D X carrot 2 big underscore X equals L equals 0 quad quad EI frac mathram D carrot three W mathram D X carrot three big underscore X equals L equals F end aligned alternatively we can represent the point load as a distribution using the Dirac function. In that case the equation and boundary conditions are E I D four W D X four equals F delta x minus L W x equals zero equals zero D W D x x equals zero equals zero D two W D X two X equals L equals zero display style begin aligned and D I frac mathram D carrot four W mathram D X carrot four equals F delta X L and W underscore X equals zero equals zero quad quad frac mathram D W mathram D X big underscore X equals zero equals zero quad quad frac mathram D carrot two W mathram D X carrot two big underscore X equals L equals zero end aligned Note that shear force boundary condition third derivative is removed, otherwise there would be a contradiction. 
These are equivalent boundary value problems, and both yield the solution W equals F six E I three L X two minus X three. Display style W equals frac F six E I three lux carrot two X carrot three tilde. The application of several point loads at different locations will lead to W X display style W X being a piecewise function. Use of the Dirac function greatly simplifies such situations, otherwise the beam would have to be divided into sections, each with four boundary conditions solved separately. A well-organized family of functions called singularity functions are often used as a shorthand for the Dirac function, its derivative, and its antiderivatives. Dynamic phenomena can also be modeled using the static beam equation by choosing appropriate forms of the load distribution. As an example, the free vibration of a beam can be accounted for by using the load function q x t equals mu two w t two display style q x t equals mu frac partial caret two w partial t caret two, where mu display style mu is the linear mass density of the beam, not necessarily a constant. With this time-dependent loading, the beam equation will be a partial differential equation two x. 2 e i 2 w x 2 equals minus mu 2 w t 2 Display style frac partial carrot two partial x carrot two left e i frac partial carrot two w partial x carrot two right equals mu frac partial carrot two w partial t carrot two. Another interesting example describes the deflection of a beam rotating with a constant angular frequency of omega. Display style omega q x equals mu omega 2 w x display style q x equals mu omega caret 2 w x this is a centripetal force distribution note that in this case q display style q is a function of the displacement the dependent variable and the beam equation will be an autonomous ordinary differential equation Topic Examples Topic Three point bending The three point bending test is a classical experiment in mechanics. It represents the case of a beam resting on two roller supports and subjected to a concentrated load applied in the middle of the beam. The shear is constant in absolute value, it is half the central load, P, 2. It changes sign in the middle of the beam. The bending moment varies linearly from one end, where it is zero, and the center where its absolute value is place, 4, is where the risk of rupture is the most important. The deformation of the beam is described by a polynomial of third degree over a half beam, the other half being symmetrical. The bending moments m Display style m shear forces q display style q and deflections w display style w for a beam subjected to a central point load and an asymmetric point load are given in the table below. Topic: Cantilever beams. Another important class of problems involves cantilever beams. The bending moments m display style m shear forces q display style q and deflections w display style w for a cantilever beam subjected to a point load at the free end and a uniformly distributed load are given in the table below. Solutions for several other commonly encountered configurations are readily available in textbooks on mechanics of materials and engineering handbooks. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Statically indeterminate beams. 
The bending moments and shear forces in Euler Bernoulli beams can often be determined directly using static balance of forces and moments. However, for certain boundary conditions, the number of reactions can exceed the number of independent equilibrium equations. Such beams are called statically indeterminate. The built-in beams shown in the figure below are statically indeterminate. To determine the stresses and deflections of such beams, the most direct method is to solve the Euler-Bernoulli beam equation with appropriate boundary conditions. But direct analytical solutions of the beam equation are possible only for the simplest cases. Therefore, additional techniques such as linear superposition are often used to solve statically indeterminate beam problems. The superposition method involves adding the solutions of a number of statically determinate problems which are chosen such that the boundary conditions for the sum of the individual problems add up to those of the original problem. Another commonly encountered statically indeterminate beam problem is the cantilevered beam with the free end supported on a roller. The bending moments, shear forces, and deflections of such a beam are listed below. Extensions The kinematic assumptions upon which the Euler-Bernoulli beam theory is founded allow it to be extended to more advanced analysis. Simple superposition allows for three-dimensional transverse loading. Using alternative constitutive equations can allow for viscoelastic or plastic beam deformation. Euler-Bernoulli beam theory can also be extended to the analysis of curved beams, beam buckling, composite beams, and geometrically nonlinear beam deflection. Euler-Bernoulli beam theory does not account for the effects of transverse shear strain. As a result, it underpredicts deflections and overpredicts natural frequencies. For thin beams, beam length to thickness ratios of the order 20 or more, these effects are of minor importance. For thick beams, however, these effects can be significant. More advanced beam theories such as the Timoshenko beam theory developed by the Russian-born scientist Stephen Timoshenko have been developed to account for these effects. <laughs> <laughs> Large deflections The original Euler-Bernoulli theory is valid only for infinitesimal strains and small rotations. The theory can be extended in a straightforward manner to problems involving moderately large rotations provided that the strain remains small by using the von Karman strains, the Euler-Bernoulli hypotheses that plane sections remain plane and normal to the axis of the beam lead to displacements of the form v 1 equals v 0 x minus z d w 0 d x v 2 equals 0 v 3 equals w 0 x Display style v underscore one equals v underscore zero x z c f r a c mathrm d w underscore zero mathrm d x tilde 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 v underscore two equals zero tilde 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 v underscore three equals w underscore zero x. Using the definition of the Lagrangian green strain from finite strain theory, we can find the von Karman strains for the beam that are valid for large rotations but small strains. These strains have the form epsilon eleven equals d u zero d x one minus x three d two w zero d x one two plus one two D U zero D X one minus X three D two 
W zero D X one two two plus D W zero D X one two Epsilon twenty two equals zero Epsilon thirty three equals one two D W zero D X one two Epsilon twenty three equals zero epsilon thirty one equals one two D W zero D X one minus D W zero D X one minus one two D U zero D X one minus X three D two W zero D X one two D W zero D X one Epsilon twelve equals zero. Display style begin aligned for Epsilon underscore eleven and equals CFRAC Mathram D U underscore zero DX underscore one X underscore three CFRAC Mathram D carrot two W underscore zero Mathram D X underscore one carrot two plus frac one two left left CFRAC Mathram D U underscore zero Mathram D X underscore one X underscore three CFR a C Mathram D carrot two W underscore zero Mathram D X underscore one carrot two right carrot two plus left CFRAC Mathram D W underscore zero Mathram D X underscore one right carrot two right Verepsilon underscore twenty two and equals zero Verepsilon underscore thirty three and equals frac one two left CFRAC Mathram D W underscore zero Mathram D X underscore one right Carrot two Verepsilon underscore twenty three and equals zero Verepsilon underscore thirty one and equals Frac one two left CFRAC Mathram D W underscore zero Mathram D X underscore one CFRAC Mathram D W underscore zero Mathram D X underscore one right Frac one two left left CFRAC Mathram D U underscore zero Mathram D X underscore one X underscore three CFRAC a C Mathram D carrot two W underscore zero Mathram D X underscore one carrot two right left CFRAC Mathram D W underscore zero Mathram D X underscore one right right Verepsilon underscore twelve and equals zero end aligned from the principle of virtual work. The balance of forces and moments in the beams gives us the equilibrium equations DNX X DX plus F X equals zero. D Two M X X D X two plus Q X plus D D X N X X D W zero D X equals zero. Display style begin aligned C F R A C Mathram D N underscore X X Mathram D X plus F X and equals zero C F R A C Mathram D carrot two M underscore X X Mathram D X carrot two plus Q X plus C F R A C Mathram D Mathram D X left N underscore X X C F R A C Mathram D W underscore zero Mathram D X 
x right and equals zero end aligned where f x display style f x is the axial load q x display style q x is the transverse load and n x x equals a sigma x x d a m x x equals a z sigma x x d a display style n underscore x x equals int underscore a sigma underscore x x tilde mathrm d a tilde 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 m underscore x x equals int underscore a z sigma underscore x x tilde mathrm d a to close the system of equations we need the constitutive equations that relate stresses to strains and hence stresses to displacements for large rotations and small strains these relations are n x x equals a x x d u 0 d x plus 1 2 d w 0 d x 2 minus b x x d 2 w 0 d x 2 m x x equals b x x d u 0 d x plus 1 2 d W zero DX two minus DX X D two W zero DX two Display style begin aligned N underscore X X and equals A underscore X X left C F R A C Mathram D U underscore zero DX plus frac one two left C F R A C Mathram D W underscore zero Mathram D X right carrot two right B underscore X X C F R A C Mathram D carrot two W underscore zero Mathram from D x carrot two M underscore x x and equals B underscore x x left C F R A C do underscore zero Mathram D x plus frac one two left C F R A C Mathram D W underscore zero Mathram D x right carrot two right D underscore x x C F R A C Mathram D carrot two W underscore zero Mathram D x carrot two end aligned where A x x equals a e d a b x x equals a z e d a d x x equals a z Two E D A Display style A underscore x x equals int underscore A E tilde mathram D A tilde 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 B underscore x x equals int underscore a Z tilde mathram D A tilde 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 D underscore x x equals int underscore A Z carrot two E tilde mathram D A tilde The quantity A x x display style a underscore x x is the extensional stiffness b x x display style b underscore x x is the coupled extensional bending stiffness and d x x display style d underscore x x is the bending stiffness for the situation where the beam has a uniform cross section and no axial load, the governing equation for a large rotation Euler Bernoulli beam is E I D 4 W 
d x 4 minus 3 2 e a d w d x 2 d 2 w d x 2 equals q x Display style e i tilde c f r a c mathrm d carrot four w mathrm d x carrot four frac three two tilde a a tilde left c f r a c mathrm d w mathrm d x right carrot two left c f r a c mathrm d carrot two w mathrm d x carrot two right equals q x. Topic. See also. Applied mechanics Bending Bending moment Buckling Flexural rigidity Generalized beam theory Plate theory Sandwich theory Shear and moment diagram Singularity function Strain materials science Timoshenko beam theory Theorem of three moments Clapeyron's theorem Three-point flexural test. Equals equals notes. <laughs>